This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... I'm standing here with Pete Ayer. Am I saying that correctly? That's correct. All right. Uh, you're with MotorhomeDiaries.com, and you've uh, this is a uh, sort of a audio-only podcast-type version of the Ridley Report, uh, since I don't have a lot of video to cover what we're going to be talking about. Um, but I wanted to ask you a little bit about um, accomplishments. You've only been in New Hampshire really for about a, a month or two. And, That's right. Uh, but you, you had already gotten some things done, and I wanted to talk a little bit about that and might be of interest to people that just got here. What have you found is the most effective thing that you, you've done for Liberty in New Hampshire since you got here? Uh, I think just being approachable, being a, a good, uh, I hope, personable person to, to communicate the ideas of Liberty, introduce them to people. We have we have unfortunately encountered a few folks that have negative knee-jerk reactions to the Free Staters when they learn that we are part of the Free State Project. So, you know, um, but the bulk of those conversations, you know, 10 or 15 minutes later, the people leave telling me that they're glad they took the time to talk to us. We shake hands, you know, they're going to check out some links or resources I tell them about. So it's just, you know, just... Um, I think living, uh, you know, the freedom aspect and the responsibility aspect and just being a good neighbor and trying to communicate to folks like, hey, we just want to be free and we want you to be free too. And You were saying that what, what is it that, that draws you guys into conversation? Sure. Or what, what is it that draws the public into conversation with you? Sure. Um, yeah, we're in New Hampshire, uh, bouncing around full-time in an RV. We have Marv. So, and you what, know, is, what is it about Marv that makes people want to look at Yeah, it? the RV, it's essentially a rolling billboard for Liberty. So there's uh, it's painted up black and gold for an anarcho-capitalism. And there's uh, graphics on there, a bunch of Liberty stuff. And then, you know, we're, we're usually decked out either wearing Liberty-oriented swag or we have stickers on our laptops. So, you know, often if we're working from a Starbucks, uh, you know, over the course of a day, there may be six to twelve people that'll stop and ask us, "Hey, what's going on?" And they're generally really supportive, and you know, you just find a way to have some common ground so that they uh, think you're, you know, they, they're more open to and responsive to the ideas. And uh, you know, most folks we talk to think the government's too big, involved in too much stuff, but a lot of people have their pet issues. So then, it, from there, it's just figuring out, you know, where you can uh, help them to find out, like, you know, why their ideas. Um, why they why they say why they purport to be about freedom, but while their advocacy of government involvement in certain issues um, denies people freedom, it denies choice. So um, I think I'm really excited. I guess uh, just being on the ground here, seeing all the activism, we've been fortunate. We've been able to spend some time in Keene, in Portsmouth, in Manchester, and then soon we'll be we'll go to Grafton and Nashua and just see the different scenes, see the vibes, learn some stuff from people. So it's just it's a great scene. And, and like I told Ian last night on Free Talk Live that. Um, when we go around, like we've we've been to, we had meetups in 60 cities last summer and uh, around the country. Around the country, yeah. yeah. So I don't like when when we think about where the best activism scenes are, you know, New Hampshire and Keene and takes takes it away for sure. And then the question is, what is the second place city? So. It's, it's you, a great place. Do you find that, um, act, of course, the activism in Keene has been really intense, but do you find that the, the proportions of negative response, or like if I go to Grafton or, 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 or especially Manchester, Nashville, places like that, mm -hmm. people don't have negative reactions. Sure. Just, they haven't really experienced this sure. enough to have anything to be negative about. Right. But in Keene, it seems like there's a lot of negative reaction. Are you, are you seeing a higher proportion of negative reaction in Keene than what you see in other places? Yeah, unfortunately, that's been the case. Um, you know, I think uh, per capita, the folks who know of the Free State Project may be a little bit higher and keen, but I think, you know, it's, it's what makes the Free State Project, folks who come here uh, to live these ideas, to hopefully achieve liberty in our lifetime, uh, you know, there's going to be different people trying different things, and I may, may not agree with 100% of them, and I don't, and when that's the case, that's actually one way to, to help. Uh, disarm the folks who had approached me with hostilities and say, look, we're individuals, we're responsible for our own actions. Like, I may not support that person or their activities, and they speak for themselves, and same with me. So, you know, when that's communicated, they're like, yeah, that's right, you can't just lump everybody together, you know, based on this characteristics. We are individuals. What would you say is the, uh, uh, maybe the, the best and the worst experience you've had with a New Hampshire official at this point? Um... I don't know. Best, I guess. Uh, you know, Adam called me the other day. Uh, we had parked our RV in a parking lot where we were told we could park, but uh, he got a knock on the door, uh, and it was a it was a cop, couple cops. So he said, you know, one second, I'm just waking up. So he called me on, on my cell phone, and I, you know, I was two stores away. So I ran down and just started videotaping them, and they saw I was videotaping. They didn't even question it, and you know, they're like, hey, we don't want to give you guys a hard time. And so they were as civil as they could be. You what know, time was that in? That was in Keene. Good. Um, I don't know. I guess the 
I really haven't had any big like negative interactions with like authority figures in New Hampshire so far, except in Portsmouth when we told people we're going there. You know, we said, "What should we do when we're there? Is there anything we should definitely check out?" And some folks said, "Well, if you're going to open carry, that could get interesting." And we just happened to be in the town when they had their market day, uh, their annual summer fest. So downtown was closed, walking around and. Uh, uh, I, I was open carrying, and uh, you know there were a couple cops who noticed, and I could tell they were kind of checking me out. One of them like took a picture of me, and uh, you know, and it was later like on the police blotter in the Portsmouth paper the next day that there was a free state with a firearm. But you know, it, besides that, and you know, never it, talked to you. Well, I, I I said, hey, can I help you? And I engaged him in conversation, and you know, and there was. Um, a lot of denial. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not saying he should have talked. Sure, to you, but I'm just curious. It's sure. unusual. Yeah. So I engaged them in conversation, but you know, throughout the course of the day, that day walking around in Portsmouth, we had um, you know four different couples say ask us about, hey, what's up with that? You know, are you a cop? And you know, I learned instead of just to say no, and and this is why you have a right to do this. I say no. Why do you ask? And then the burden is on them to question like, why yeah. do why do I believe someone with a badge only has a right to have a firearm? So right. uh, it was a good I don't know conversation starter, and a lot of people uh, I was fortunate to see like vendor stands uh, some guys approached us and and uh, they're pretty much on board and uh, about uh, this freedom movement so well the fact that they come out and talk to you means they're not scared right which is a start exactly <laughs> even exactly. if they don't like you at least they're not scared yeah exactly <laughs> yeah so a lot of reason to be uh, optimistic here in New Hampshire all right Pete much appreciate your time and all you do thank you I'll see you out there appreciate it you too Dave Freekeen.com Freekeen.com believes Keen is the best destination for pro-liberty activists like you. Keen is an exciting and challenging ground floor opportunity. Visit move.freekeen.com and read over 108 reasons to move to Keen. Help us free the beautiful little city of Keen from the clutches of the government. Learn why you should move to Keen at move.freekeen.com